Welcome to a new video about Evernote in a channel that's all about Evernote. I love Web Clipper. In my opinion, it is the second best thing after Evernote. But amazingly, a lot of my students, they are not aware of it. And since I use Web Clipper all the time to clip content to my knowledge base notebook, and like I told you in the last video, I'll be talking a lot about my knowledge base notebook. I thought it was a good idea to cover Web Clipper's main features. If you already use Web Clipper, please share this video with a friend that's new to Evernote. On your computer, go to evernote.com slash Web Clipper and follow the steps to install it on your favorite browser. If you use multiple browsers, I suggest you install it in all of them. If everything goes according to the plan, you see the Evernote logo on the toolbar of your browser. From now on, every time you see an article that you want to save, just click the icon and you see a black box with several options to capture that article. We'll spend a lot of time in this black box, but let's start with the capture formats. The first option is article. It will clip the article, leaving parts of the page out of it. It's possible to tweak it a little bit, pressing the minus and plus icons, but there's not much more you can do here. Simplified article is the one I use all the time. It does a great job in most of the sites capturing the plain text. The only images you'll see here are the ones that are already inside the article, and it does a great job trying to understand which one is an image, which one is an ad. Also, there's something here that a lot of people don't know about. You can highlight any parts of the text. Next, full page. As it implies, it's a full page capture. Nothing special here. Bookmark will capture the URL, a bookmark of that site, and a little description. I rarely use this, but some of my students, when they are researching a topic, they use this to save the address and come back to it in the future. The last option is pretty cool. You can print screen any part of a page using the Select tool. And when you are done selecting it, you'll be presented to several drawing tools. Now let's take a look at the top of the black box. That's the title of the page you are on. It will become the notes title, but you can change it if you want to. You can also add a note, a remark, using the box at the bottom of the black box. Anything you write here will be on the top of the note right before the captured page. Evernote will suggest you a notebook to save this page. Of course, you can change the setting, we'll get there. But you can select a notebook here and also add tags. If you just start typing any tag name, you see a list, you can select them from there. But be careful here. If you write a word that doesn't exist as a tag, Evernote will create that tag. Okay, let's check the settings. There's so many options here from the appearance of the black box to the capture settings like the destination notebook, like I mentioned before, the tags, the default clip format. In my case, it's simplified article. You can change a lot here. So set it the way it's best for you. And if it's not working like you expect it, just come back and change it. Okay, let's finally press save clip. The clip was sent to your Evernote and if you didn't change the settings, you'll now see another box asking you if you wanna set a reminder for that note, send the captured page to another person and even delete it. Amazon, Gmail, LinkedIn, and YouTube have special web clipper black boxes. For example, on YouTube, you can choose to capture the comments of the video, the description of that video, or the thumbnail and the link to go back to that video. In the past, it was not possible to embed a YouTube video in a note, but now we can do this. So Evernote, if you are watching this, maybe change that thumbnail to the embedded video. I think this would be a very nice addition to Web Clipper. Let's go back to the video. Here's one for the heavy users. Select any text, right click it, and you see several options similar to the ones I already covered, but there's one that will clip only the selected text. To do it, choose Clip Selection to Evernote. Finally, here's what in my opinion is the most underrated feature of Web Clipper. 
Every time you Google something, you see an Evernote box showing you related notes to that search that you already have in Evernote. This is great because a lot of times we are searching online for information we already have in Evernote. Unfortunately, most of these features are only available on the browser extension. When it comes to Android and iOS, it's quite limited. All you can do is select a notebook and add some tags. There are some alternatives that I'll cover in a future video. And if you're interested in learning more, subscribe to the channel. And I'm sure it didn't cover everything that Web Clipper does. If I miss something or if you know a good tip, please share in the comments to help our Evernote community.